Now we're going to measure the size of a sunspot using the same sort of scale method that we've used in previous labs this semester. Now again, to show you how to do this, I've already gotten the image, which in this case is a high-resolution full disk image of the sun. And we're going to be measuring these sunspots here. Well, as you remember from the planets lab, the first thing you have to do is you have to establish the size scale. Now I've already gotten my measurement tool open, and I've already gotten my GIMP set up so that that measurement tool is already there. And now I want to measure across the diameter of the sun. When I do that, I'm going to get a pixel value down here. And again, for those of you who are doing this in spring 2020, I'm going to go ahead and give you the measurements. And this is 938 pixels. So that's our diameter of the sun in pixels. Now to measure the sunspots, I'm going to need to zoom in a lot more. And I'm going to measure a couple of these here. Let's start with this one. I'm just going to measure across the dark part of the sunspot. And you see we get 8 pixels. If I measure across this one, I get 7.1 pixels. Or if I measure it in the other direction, I get 9.4 pixels. So that lets us know that 8 pixels is an OK value for a typical sunspot size. And again, this is an image of the sun at sort of a moderate level of sunspot activity. So these are sort of typical sunspots. They're not the largest you could have, but they're not really small ones either. So answer your lab questions. Use those measurements, the values that I highlighted before, with the sunspots being about 8 pixels and the diameter of the sun being about um, I think I had 938 before, 941. You see there's a little bit of variation, but somewhere around those values as what you're going to use when you answer the questions in your lab manual. If you have any concerns, contact me.